Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on more than unfair difficulty. Uh, matter of fact, it is uh, with great pleasure that this uh, that I have cranked up uh, almost all of the levers. Um, it says custom, but it was unfair. One thing that we haven't uh, that we haven't cranked up is the party momentum gain. Uh, let's reduce that so that it is more difficult for us to get heroics off. So that will make it even more uh, difficult. Um, and then the dodge modifier of the enemy uh, would be something that we can still crank up. Let's give ourselves a um, even harder to hit enemy. Uh, damage required to for injuries and wounds. We're reducing that. A few more wounds. Uh, that will lead to traumas, which means that's more difficult for us in general. And <coughs> everything else is on a, a super hard. And the only thing that I could theoretically now change is the enemy's uh, dodge modifier to make it even more difficult for us to hit them. <coughs> Good. So, a couple of updates. We flew here. Uh, we had the warp phenomenon that I needed to take care of. <coughs> and uh, I found out that um, I couldn't uh, get the logic test with Pascal done. So I switched the gear over to Saiken, buffed him, and uh, did the logic uh, test, which is good. So Saiken now does have the option to um, just out of thin air do heroic uh, measures, which isn't bad. So we're going to find out whether or not that is game breaking, but our main character is already OP as is. Uh, so I'm not totally opposed to it. In Dragonos, our today's uh, mission, we're going to help uh, the house of Berserian, uh, which is Abelard's uh, side quest. So um, with that being said, let's land here. And since Abelard is part of it, we're going to take the second uh, team with us. Marzai, Jay, Iridia, Irlit, all of uh, them are joining me <coughs> as we're going uh, th uh, in with uh, the not so OP team. Uh, I will switch around um, between both of the teams quite regularly <coughs> so that we uh, see different strategies. It it seems that towards um, level 30 plus that everybody becomes more or less OP. Ladies, gentlemen, please stand aside. No need to crowd around. Governor uh, Divestein will take care of everything. This is ridiculous. Such thing happening right in the Rogue Trader's palace. Well, well, this is my palace, so you guys better have an explanation. You're confronted in the sight of dead bodies at the entrance of the palace. The corpses have been hauled to a pile. Some dressed in uniforms, wardens, whilst others uh, typical clothing of Dragonos nobility. Your lordship. Uh, we are honored uh, by your presence. The bodies of the asylums are studied in many augments, but upon closer ins inspection you realize that they are not mere implements. They are constructions made clear that the uh, deceased were not humans, in fact rare um, high-functioning servitors. As far as I know, House Grapek has received such servitors from the Crimson Priesthood as a gift. What is this? <coughs> your Lordship, these people's, uh, people wanted to attack. Uh, second Lieutenant of the Palace, Gord Alum White, reporting shortly before you arrived, uh, we averted an assassination attempt on the rogue trader. Where is Vizarian? I think she's with the rest of House Vizarian, detained in the throne room. Why is the governor not here to greet the rogue trader? Uh, I do not know, your lordship. Perhaps he is... Um, uh, I must take my leave. All right, let me... Um, level up uh, the characters and then we're giving it a go all right everybody is leveled up the whispers told me how this can only mean we're going to run into a massive trap so off we go to the Valencia's palace 
Good. Time for us to find out what has happened you've here. You've been easier to tolerate since you were taken down a peg. You're not any nicer, just easier. Let me know if you grow tired of things being easy. I would take great pleasure in making... Let me through. I have an appointment with a chancellor. Says one. My apologies, my lord. You cannot go any further. Governor Dice deems order. This is ridiculous. Shall I complain? Ah, there is some heresy brewing here. His lordship, the rogue trader, let him through. Governor Divestein, your lordship, this is an honor. I regret that such unfortunate circumstances have occasioned the rogue trader's visit to the capital. Your lordship, you are here. Please, you must hear us out, says Viserion. The rogue trader is undoubtedly here to listen to the testimony of each and every one of us and to punish the traitors. All right, so let's undoubtedly listen to what they have to say. We've known each other for many decades, Abelard says uh, now, and we had our fair share of disagreements. But do you really think my flesh and blood would trample upon the very definition of honor and loyalty? The governor says we have evidence implicating uh, them. Abelard, I'm sure his lordship will arrive to a fair ruling. What are the charges? Disruption of logistical lines, a bribery of adeptus administratum officials, door document forgery, an organization of a her heretical insurrection. On top of the evidently devastating economic impact it has on your protectorate, these criminal acts have been impeded into uh, the delivery of the imperial tithe, which in turn has drawn the administration's attention. An esteemed member of the Adeptus Arbitris is expected to arrive on Dragonus shortly. And before they do, we are obliged to identify and punish those responsible. Uh, Clementia, I wish to hear your account. Your Lordship, uh, House Viserion denies all charges laid against them. These last few months have indeed been trying uh, for Dagonius, but we have done our best to remedy the situation. My family's every effort was focused on stabilizing the capital's logistics and economy. So much so that we failed to notice the web of intrigue unfolding behind our back. Speak at the other houses. Do you support the governor's um, accusations? The uh, aristocrats in attendance exchanged glances, the noble lords averting their gazes, and the noble ladies hiding behind their fence. No one is willing to be the first to answer. Saubeck then says, over his many years of service, Governor Dive Steamer and Theodora's trust and holds a high office for a reason. On behalf of Saubeck, I uh, support the accusations. Uh, Grapak says, Governor Dice team have always faithfully served the rogue trader. As Grapok thinks these charges are sound. Why are there dead bodies? Your Lordship, I humbly beg your pardon. You see, right before your arrival, the palace guards uh, discovered a plot to assassinate you. Fortunately, the malefactors were disposed of before they could even cause any harm. Drivestein, aren't you accusing one of uh, the noble houses of treason without airtight evidence, are you? Of course I have evidence, your lordship. The investigation has established that members of the Verizian family, which are responsible both for Draconos' fleet and logistics, use their contacts to influence and forge a host of documents in order to undermine the planet's supply routes and the economy, thus fomenting unrest amongst the inhabitants. Allow me to introduce my son, Cornelius. Cornelius holds a prestigious position in the Administratum Palace, and it is thanks to him that we managed to identify the trace of the entire chain of forged documents. The investigation led us to the perpetrators who admitted to acting in uh, the orders of the members of House Vizarian. It was they who were the intent of spreading the idea of restoring the title of rogue trader to their true heir. Well, let's take a look at this guy. 
noticing the close attention of the rogue trader, the young man averts his gaze. His long uh, face is sweating and he pressed his dry lips together tightly to a thin line. He seems to be afraid of something. Your words alone are not enough to make me doubt the loyalty of House Vizarian as a rogue trader. I ordered you to... Okay. I wish to learn more before I make my final decision. As you wish, speak to me when you're ready to announce your verdict. Thank you for your willingness to help, Lord Captain Abelard says. I am certain uh, the charges are false. I would be grateful if you help exposing them as such. I think we should speak to everyone, noble lords and ladies. Of course. It's going to be a hunt the for the truth. Beneath my feet. Okay, the great, uh, the uh, the Grapax, Abelard. It must be difficult to for you here. Uh, in your opinion. Uh, which nobles might have a reason to uh, to party with uh, such conspiracy? Pardon, my blunder, uh, bluntness, your lordship, but I will answer truthfully. It could be anyone. I've examined the bodies of the assailants that were killed today. All of them were high-functioning servitors. One, well, they're yours. It's possible to read uh, Tyronia's emotion through a heavily augmented face, but suddenly they turn towards uh, her family, betrays her confusion and surprise. I impossible. We came here ourselves without any service, uh, servitors. Uh, your lordship, thank you for informing you. You're absolutely right. My house has indeed been endowed with high-functioning servitors, a blessing from those who re uh, were the Omnicide, but today none of our house members were accompanied by them. Uh, we show them what we found on their corpses. Officially, high-functioning servitors are employed by my house and my house alone. If such units were to attack the rogue traders, suspicion would instantly fall upon the Garapaks. I assume that is why the Vizarians intended it to happen. But they did not expect that the servitors would have this letter on them. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, Saubek, your lordship. Saubek uh, stares at uh, Iliad with a flicker across his face. Saubek's patriarch I trained um, upon Marazai. It seems as if the air is growing heavy. Look at them. Uh, despite Saubek's attempt to suppress his revolution, the presence of inhumans in your retinue undoubtedly reflects his fervent desire to eliminate the enemy of humanity. Do my companions distress you? I am a loyal servant of your dynasty. It is not for me to judge your companions. Good. Who else could be behind uh, the conspiration? How Saupek, whose patriarch is too distinct for the communication with the rogue trader, anyone uh, could have a reason to conspire against you, and equally, they could have none. It is a question of motive, but loyalty. Each of your subjects has sworn an oath. So, who would sincerity? Um, so, whose sincerity do you doubt? Good. The uh, asylums uh, send um, high-functioning servitors. Do you think Grapax could be behind it? I always thought Torita was too weak to participate in such risky ventures, but it seems I was wrong. Okay, not much new information here. Couple of aristocrats, the nothing to see. Will bow. Good. Worse scenes. As you draw closer, the warden steps aside, bows respectfully, allowing you to approach the Worserian family. Your Lordship, accept my most humble apologies for failing to greet you properly and my thanks for agreeing to speak with me before making a final decision. The charges brought by the Governor are severe, but I can only assure you that uh, mm, this, and I swear it on our honor, we're not guilty of the crimes uh, that we've been accused for. Clementia, 
You were uh, the acting hack of my family. You're supposed to take care of each and every family member. And now you're being accused of treason and collusion against the rogue trader, and the entire family is facing death. How could you let this happen? The governor claims you forged documents. Clemencia says the fleet is the primary remit of House Verenstein is our responsibility, logistics, supply routes, and another area of responsibility. We have no direct influence of the inner workings of the administratum. The first large-scale delivery were cancelled after the quantities of goods were miscalculated. Then we faced incorrect weather data and meager fuel, uh, fuel budget. It was clear that the cause of all these problems was calculations before, uh, performed by the administratum in one way or another, but no matter how many times we asked, we could not even obtain a clarification on the matter. I found this letter on the bodies of the heretics who planned to attack. What can you tell me about it? Your Lordship, let us be frank. I would be foolish of me to try and orchestrate something like that, knowing how many wardens are patrolling your palace. would not have let myself or anyone in my family get involved in uh, such schemes. The attackers were high-functioning servitors, one um, that looked closer to the ordinary humans. Do you know anything about that? Servitors? I've encountered servitors that were indistinguishable from normal augmented humans, but only once they were accompanied by several members of House Grapek. If you're not guilty, who is? Anyone, really. Uh, the other houses consider us unworthy in our position, and many would jump at the chance of getting rid of us. I want to find out who's, what's going on. Who's the real mastermind? I, I'm afraid I'm not of much help. Talk to the representatives of the other houses, eavesdrops uh, on their retinue. Perhaps you will hear something unusual. Oh, come on. No one can tell us anything. I tread a path unexplored. The governor holds his high office for a reason. Loyalty is beyond doubt. We're loyal servants. Yeah, everybody's loyal. The Wazarians have taken things too far. They are uh, lucky that the Lord uh, that Lord Urban managed to uncover the grubby plot so quickly. We are the spearhead. My aspirations transcend humanity. Governor Divesine is surrounded by his retinue, who are all dressed in expensive finery, matching the color schemes of their outfit and striking physical resemblance among them suggests that they all come from one family. Your Lordship, thank you for giving us the case of your undivided attention. All right, what do you make of this letter? Uh, it looks like another piece of evidence incriminating House Virenzian. Perhaps they truly did intend to kill you, or at least uh, they caused uh, to stir to help to escape custody during the confounded uh, confusion of uh, that followed. All the silence were high-functioning servitors. Such servitors are only employed by families close to the Adeptus Mechanus. High-functioning servitors, such servitors are indeed rare, and the Grapaks do not have them in their service, but this could be done intentionally with an eye to confuse you. Anyone with the desire and sufficient funds can hire them. Tell me about your son. Uh, thank you for your interest, but I'm not worthy of it. Uh, son, show due respect. Forgive him, your lordship. This is the very first time that he had the honor of attracting the attention of a rogue trader. Tell me about your job, Cornelius. Uh, I manage the documents and records related to the economy of Dragonius. You probably know how scrupulous the workers of the Adeptus Administratum are. I'm afraid a more detailed explanation of my duties would mirror the administrative process of the Administratum too long and overly detailed. How do you manage to find the forged documents? When uh, compelling reports on the last cycle supply chain noticed inaccuracies, I, find, I found several documents. Comprehensive data analysis has shown that the discrepancies were caused by intentional tampering with data, thus leading to logistical problems that were practically unsolvable. Father, I, I've managed to single out the administratum's clerks responsible for tampering with the data. Following a heated interrogation, they confessed that they were following the orders of someone from House Ver Verencian. Everything was supposed to look... Uh, through were the ones uh, suffering from the loss uh, from a logistical and economical uh, problem. But does House Verencian have access to the administratum? 
there is no conceivable way they could have done uh, all of that in a place where they don't hold any power. Uh, I, I think the right amount of money can open doors. Cornelius, what's the true reason of your nervousness? Uh, it's the first time I've spoken to you face to face, rogue trader. I'm afraid of saying something wrong and forgetting something important. He's afraid? Yes, there is enough fear in this runt to feed a small squad. Place your hand on uh, the weapon you are speaking to a road tra uh, trader, and my patience is running out. Uh, for forgive me, my lord, I, I, I can't do it anymore. This is a lie has gone too far, and I can no longer control it. The truth is that all of the logistical problems were caused by a single error in the numbers. M my mistake. I've seen this. What? Uh, when I discovered my mistake, I was almost impossible to restore the supply lines. Then uh, I, I was approached by someone who said they were a friend. They did give me their name, but I never saw their face. They promised to fix the problem. All I had to do was pretend that the were, uh, Varencians were responsible for the mistakes. And as for the rest of the evidence, they promised to arrange it all. And, and what have you done? How could you? Your lordship, this is my fault. Trusted my son. And I failed doing, uh, doing uh, so in my job. I beg, have mercy. And you called my family's honor into question, Urbant. Nevertheless, I harbor no desire to kick a man when he's down. Lord Captain, the confessions you have obtained means House Verzarian can now be cleared of all charges. What is this friend that approached you, Cornelius? Uh, by, by letter. I received a letter out of the blue one day. It was unsigned, but the person writing already knew my error uh, calculations. They offered me help to clean up my misdeed, and in return, I would name the Veresians uh, uh, as the ones who have sabotaged the supply lines. Uh, all I had to do was to gather to, uh, some documents and uh, reports that were listed in one of the letters and kept my mouth shut. Urban, your son has uh, found the courage to admit his mistake. I will try to find the same compassion in my uh, heart. Uh, and as for your position, I think uh, you will be reassigned to a role requiring less responsibilities. Okay, well, uh, that... Intriguing. Uh, gives Grapak a bad look again. Okay, I thought I could maybe overhear another con um, conversation. Embrace true power. Maybe the sourbakes. My ascension has only just begun. The world trembles beneath my feet. Hmm. Okay, well, I think that's as good as it gets, really. I'm ready to give my verdict. The charges brought uh, by the governor drive scene were fabricated. House Ver uh, Verisian had nothing to do with the orchestration of the riots and the plot targeting the rogue trader, and yet this matter is far from concluded. All right, so we can either say how Sauerbeck is gu guilty. Hmm. Well, who's really guilty here? I mean, what do we uh, factually know? How was I first them? Definitely. He's cast an unfound accusation, but that's more on the son and not so much on the father, who indeed has been a loyal servant. Os Grapak um, couldn't explain how their servitors were just disappearing, and that's a big problem. 
and Sauerbeck I just don't know enough uh, about. So we're saying Grapak. The noble dynasty and all of his branches have been found guilty of heresy by the order of the rogue trader. The entire house will be executed. Oh boy. One had to go. Uh, maybe we should have invested more time in finding out even more about it. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Wow, they do have uh, chainsaw swords. That is a nasty e execution. Lord Captain, you have many things. The rogue trader should not waste time on the matters that his servants and trustees can resolve. But in this case, your intervention was necessary, not just for the sake of my family, but for the trade of your dynasty. Regina uh, Sauerbeck eventually, Conrad's accomplices, continue to plot against the Protectorate. Uh, maybe Sauerbeck's. Thanks, Lord Captain, House Verizian uh, is saved, although I came close to being wiped out. Sometimes I think about how much I could teach them. I could ensure they survive in the future, future without me. What are you going to do now? I need to reflect upon what happened here and the role that I played in it. I think I will be ready to, uh, to resume the conversation later on board of the ship. Uh, maybe I've taken Grapak too early and it was the Salpex, really. That could have been it. Think about it. They were the only ones that had not been instrumentalized of pulling the strings behind the scene but then again what kind of logic is uh, that to say well we haven't heard your name therefore you must be guilty and therefore we judge you so I potentially have been missing something unfortunate if you know the solution on the comment uh, please write a comment down below I'd be curious to understand if I had done everything in my power Good, back to the ship. Let's see if Abelard has to say anything. Lord Captain, allow me to express my gratitude once again for your assistance. If it weren't for your intervention, my entire family could have been executed on false charges. I could have lost them all. I never imagined the Viserians would be so vulnerable while I serve as seneschal to the Lord Captain himself. But such is my duty to the rogue trader to keep tireless watch at the Lord Captain's side, to serve as a support in the darkest of times for you and for me. I will not step down from my role, no matter what happens. Do not doubt me. The Viserian family will learn from what has happened, and if our blood is worth anything, we'll be ready to face new trials without my guiding hand. Thank you for your high trust in me, Lord Captain. I will continue to live up to it. Well then, Lord Captain, it is time I return to my duties. Is there anything else I can do for you? Lord Captain. We failed to find the culprit, but we still helped him. Is that good? Yeah, yeah. Good, next up, uh, I think we're going with uh, Idira. But I have no idea where we would find... She keeps seeing 
visions. We're just going to fly around. Um, and obviously the other uh, things are happening in footfall. Which is where we are going after that. Let's do Idiria first. Okay, I think I just got a hint. So, um, we are in this nameless system where the Winter Scale, uh, where the Winter Scale dynasty is, and uh, Idira speaks up, Lord Captain. I think this is it right here. So very close. The quiet whispers, they don't stop. They keep a buzzing in both of my ears uh, that the little door is somewhere in, uh, on this world. What little door? The door in my visions, the one I told you about. Nothing major, just the last hope uh, for my salvation. Okay. Allow me to repeat. The Emperor's vow, the flagship of uh, Winterscale, has been detected in the orbit of Quen's Temper, one of Winterscale's worlds. Um, hail them. It'll be done. The Emperor's vow sends greetings to the glorious ruler of the Valencia's dynasty. Um, and we gain experience. You may speak, Victus. Lordship, he wishes to speak to us directly. You see, the Lord Captain had yet another heated argument with the esteemed uh, Corda, and he had a very good reason for his displeasure. I dare not to discuss this Lordship's affairs, but I can divulge uh, that we are set out to protect the dynasty's rights. Okay. Uh, there is no better hunting ground uh, when you need to cool off your head, I believe. Uh, that's what the Lord Captain says. We easily crushed the pathetic mockery of a fleet that was laying siege on the unfortunate world. Of course, most of the uh, Xenos uh, fled, but uh, we did reduce a few of their ships. And our ferry fleet? That means there are many more Crusadian survivors than I hoped. Elatach, I must go to this planet to find them, to try to serve them. Okay. I'm grateful. Something tells me uh, the story doesn't end here. You see, your lordship, one of the Alderi ships crashed on Quisdar Temar, so the lord captain chose us to descend and finish off uh, the elusive prey. But he has not been able to find his way through the local woods over 30 days now, and this concerns me greatly. Anticipating your next question, your lordship, no, I'm not confident the lord captain is still alive. And his body and spirit do not break easily, and besides, he's accompanied by Wharton the Grey. May Surin protect uh, his children. We must halt the frenzy of your stellar rival Elata Kohels. Be it by Ishtar's tears, his subject will not escape um, retribution. Hurry up, Elatach, uh, uh, before there is nothing left to decide. So what do you want from me? Uh, a generous favor in return for a generous favor. Find Lord uh, Winterscale and bring him back to the Emperor's Wow. I swear by the Golden Throne that I will convince him to side with you in any conflict that occurs in the next hundred years. Um. Hmm. All right, count me in. They say that rising star stars burn brighter than the old. The data transferred has been given to you. The God Emperor's grace may be upon you. Good. Let's start with Oasis 5. Which I think uh, 
Okay, so wait, 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 wait. The door. Uh, Eteria is convinced that uh, something is on the surface of Questa Timer. She entreats the rogue trader to find it. Okay. And we also need to help our good uh, friend Iridiot. But what's here? Ancient bun bunker. That's oh, just a normal bunker, you say? Well, isn't that convenient? Let's take our second party for another ride. But I think that ride needs to happen in the next episode. We're already a bit overdue. Uh, so uh, I want to keep those things to 30 minutes. We're going to explore the ancient bunker. Um, and then we're going to go for the next quest. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If uh, you distrust uh, the winter scales just as much as I do, then leave a like and a comment down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.